Zed is the next generation text editor of your dreams. This thing absolutely flies. Now, when people say that Zed is a minimal code editor crafted for speed and collaboration, let me just tell you, it's not that minimal, but it does feel minimal in terms of the sheer load it will put on your system. And when the Zed team says that this thing is performant, they absolutely mean it. They even went out and built an entire GPU UI platform for making UIs entirely in Rust because unlike some other text editors, this is not built in web tech. Even back to the days of something like Atom, we've been using apps that are built in Electron to do things like a text editor, like VS Code and Cursor. These are all built in something called Electron, right? But this is built entirely in Rust, even as far as down to the UI, which means that they've tuned this thing to be really, really fast. Now, it's also open source, which is an awesome thing for anybody who's into that. You can just check out the source of it. And they're currently undergoing something called Quality Week, which are, they're doing in public right now. So you can even see the types of work that's being done on this editor. So if you're the type of person who geeks out on this stuff, there's plenty of stuff to geek out on here. And in fact, the big news in October was what, that they dropped the Windows version on us. So you can actually use Zed on Windows. So this is not an ad for Zed. It's my current text editor. And if you're anything like me, you may have heard of this, but then not known like what its status was or if it is actually useful enough to to replace the text editor that you're currently using. And as far as features go, my experience is that it has replaced all of the features that I would have expected to find in other text editors. And the only thing that I find it to be not as good at as maybe, let's say, even cursor would be the auto tab complete in your AI tab completion. But let's face it, how many platforms have tab complete as good as cursor? I don't I don't think any of them do. But as far as as far as text editors go, I, I started with Dreamweaver, then went to Textmate, then to Sublime Text. Uh, I I went to then um, Adam maybe very briefly, then to VS Code, and uh, have really lived in VS Code and Cursor and Kiro for the past little bit. And I'm happy to say that Zed really delivers on everything from the strain it puts on my system being far less to also the UI being really thoughtfully developed and just a nice addition to an already great editor. And even as far as things like their settings, which used to just be very recently just a JSON file, now actually have a nice full-on settings window that you can search for. And these types of enhancements really have spread out through the entire editor, whether that is a complete Git UI where you can see your changes, you can stage, you can track, you can sync, you can push, you can have AI generate uh, commit messages for you. It's all here in the type of stuff you would expect. Now, you're not getting the crazy kind of like git lens view that you might have via extensions in VS Code, but the default experience is very nice. Now there's also, like you might expect, a built-in term if you are the type of per person who wants to use a built-in terminal uh, into your editor. I always keep my term in something separate. I use ghosty for that, but if you're the type of person who likes to use the built-in term, I believe it's just command J is the default to open it up. There's also just like in VS Code, a problems and break breakpoints and AI and all this kind of stuff, I actually really did find their breakpoints and debugging session stuff to just straight up just work, which I'm not the most dialed in in my debugging process when using breakpoints. So the fact that I can run a process, drop some breakpoints in and have the UI and everything just work has been a really nice thing where I'm not having to futz with configuration files to make sure that my stuff just works. So let's talk about the general editor stuff. If you're used to VS Code, your command prompts and command palettes and all those things are going to work the exact same as you'd expect them. And for the most part with the exact same keyboard shortcuts so that way you get access to the stuff you want when you want it. Uh, there's also your typical kind of tree editor view which is nice, functions exactly like you'd expect. There's an outline panel if you want an outline panel. There's a collaboration panel if you want to do collaboration on files. There's multiplayer real-time stuff in here that I personally have not used. It's not my style but I've heard that it's very good uh, but 
it's there nonetheless. Now the search and find file stuff is really good as well. When you search for something, you actually can edit it directly here if you want, uh, which is I find to be very nice, or you can just open this file directly with an option enter. Here we are in the file, now I'm in my change log. I found the home process to be very nice and the things just kind of do exactly what I would expect them to do after using many other text editors without getting in the way and specifically not getting in the way performance wise because Zed tends to be very performant all the time. Zed is never really the thing that I'm noticing chugging on my system, which is a really nice thing to have when your processes and your web stuff is already taking up uh, who knows what kind of memory on your system. Now, in addition, there's things like code actions, which you can prompt with command period, that's to be expected. And one of these actions is always gonna be fix with assistant, which will pop open an inline assistant to help you fix it right then. You can always use the inline assistant as well with control enter, and you can talk to the code right then. Now the auto tab completion stuff is nice in a number of ways because you can either predict at your cursor or you can hold down the option key. So we can start typing and I can hold down the option key and then it's going to give me the option to hit the tab to auto complete if that's actually what I want. Now as you can see buttons inside summary I don't I don't know what that is. So uh, sometimes the autocomplete is better than it's not, but you know what? The thing about autocomplete stuff is I actually like having the option to toggle it with the option key rather than just having it always disrupt what I'm trying to do when I don't want it to be there. So I do find that to be nice. Now, as far as AI providers go, you have the option of using the ZAI, which because Z is open source, it doesn't cost anything. The ZAI is predictably how the Z team is going to get paid because you can subscribe to ZAI, which is very nice and it works well, or you can sign in with GitHub Copilot if you'd like for doing these auto completions as well. But that's not it as far as AI stuff goes because like with many other chat interfaces, there's also the tab for AI chatting, which also functions the same way that many of these others do where you can reference files and stuff. But inside of here, you can even start a new external agent, whether that is Claude code. Uh, you can do a Z agent if you uh, are want. You can do Codex CLI or Gemini CI or more agents. But if I were to do a new Claude agent here, it's gonna use Claude code directly inside of the chat window here. So therefore you can use your Claude code directly inside of Z without having to do the whole let's load it up in the term panel. So that's really nice. And I have found the AI stuff to be good. That said, I primarily don't use it if I'm using AI and I'm still really stuck on open open code in my ghosty terminal and just pin it to the side. I, I don't know why, that's just how I tend to work. Other than that, there's some nice little features like a zoom in on a file, which kind of opens your files in a modal without closing the rest of your UI that exists here. This is not a keyboard shortcut that I have my fingers to be, um, was it shift escape? I don't have my fingers finely tuned for this one yet, so I might change that for whatever it is. But overall, it's a really nice editor and you get all the stuff you'd want out of here from remapping your key maps, your themes, your icons, all this stuff. There's even a syntax theme. Uh, it, it's all really great. Now, the one dig people have against Zed is the extensions being maybe not as robust and full featured as what's available in VS Code. And I would say that is accurate. Now, extensions inside of Zed are newer, and because of that, there isn't as much that you can do with the current extension API. So when you look at extensions, they tend to be themes, icon themes, languages, grammar, language servers, MCP servers, agent servers, uh, so like open code directly in here if you want, snippet packages, and debug adapters. So you're not getting the full realm of the types of things you can do with extensions, but what I have found in my experience is that Zed does many of the things I might reach for an extension for in VS Code out of the box. Even as far as like saying, you know, the git commits on the lines, having the play buttons next to my scripts, these little things are just kind of all baked in throughout this application in a way that feels very thoughtful and just works without me having to look for an extension. And so because of that, I haven't needed to install many extensions. Now, are there extensions I would like? on Zed that I don't have? Absolutely. In fact, 
I wrote an extension for Svelte that uh, Svelte has an inspect ruin, and I sometimes I just want to inspect things. So I like to highlight some text, hit Command I, and it wraps it in and inspect. Now with that extension and the current Z extension marketplace, I don't believe that it's possible to have or make that extension currently in Z today, which is a huge bummer and one of the reasons why I can't wait for this extension marketplace to be better. Another thing I don't like about the extension marketplace is the publishing of extensions. Right now, it's done through submitting a PR as a sub-module in a giant Git repository. And if you want to update it, it's a major headache. And I have found the whole sub-module extension thing to just be no fun. So because of that, the syntax theme is currently stuck on version 0.1.1 because I honestly cannot deal with the whole sub-module updating thing. It drove me nuts. So hopefully the Z team opens up the extension system quite a bit more to enable for more interesting code transformations with extensions, if that's not already possible. In fact, if anyone from the Z team is listening at any point to this, uh, go ahead and drop a comment if that is in your plans or if that is possible today. Also, I would love to see the extension process, the extension marketplace mature into something a little bit better for publishing as well. Another really neat small feature inside of Zed here is that you can see all of the given language servers running at any time. You can restart or stop them all. I found this to be very transparent. I do like in the past having to restart the, the TypeScript language server or something like that just kind of getting in the way. So the fact that these are, exist and it's kind of transparent and obvious here is very, very nice. There's also this project diagnostics view that shows you any sort of things that you need to know. Uh, apparently, uh, there's an unknown known rule starting style, which I don't know whose fault that is, but starting style. It's real, I promise. Uh, the search is also very nice. Now, the cool thing about search inside of Zed is that you can edit anything directly from the uh, windows that pop up in here. So it's not just like, here's a link to the file. Here's the actual file open. You can make the edits right here. Find and replace, all that stuff works the exact same that you'd expect, whether you wanna do regex, whether you wanna do any sort of replacing, whatever. You wanna open the current file, option enter, you're into that file. I, I, I do really, really love this editor for for a number of reasons. Now, one cool thing that I like that the Z team added, and I don't know if they added this just for me because I definitely complained about it, was that they added this feature, workspace move pane in direction, and then the direction of right. Uh, this right here is is the funniest like keyboard shortcut that I feel like I, I always talk about wanting that nobody else cares about. But uh, what this does is it takes the current window and it splits it with putting another one open to the right or to the left here without duplicating it because the classic split, like if we click split pane and we split this one to the left, it duplicates the file. I know that there's some people with big files that like that, but oftentimes I just want two things side by side. And if I'm working here and I'm just like, oh, I gotta have this side by side, I set mine to hyper S and that just moves it to the side. So shout out to the Z team for adding this because this was a feature that for some reason, I really, really need inside of my text editor. So are you using a Z? What do you think of this? Is there anything that prevents you from using this today? I was surprised that when I came back to Zed, just how much they had added. And based on their active commits and everything going on with the editor, this thing is full steam ahead. And I'm a big fan. So check it out at zed.dev. Again, I'm not affiliated. This is not sponsored. I think this is just a cool product and something that you should check out. And if you want to use your Copilot subscription, you can use your Copilot subscription directly in Zed without having to pay for anything else. Uh, really just fantastic overall.